Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Nidhi, a corporate trainer, NLP coach and a sound therapist. Until recently, I used to be a proud Singapore girl. Well, yes, I used to fly with Singapore Airlines, one of the best airlines in the world. I flew with the airline for 10 years, five years as a non-ranking crew, got promoted to a leading stewardess, was there in that role for another five years. I also used to be a trainer with Singapore Airlines for almost about six years. And here I am today to share my experiences, my tips with all of you, because what better use can I have with all that experience but to share it with you guys. And if being a cabin crew is your dream, I can help you to make it into a reality. You're watching my series on how to become a cabin crew. So this is what happened just about a few months back. I was waiting for a taxi and then I got into a taxi. The taxi uncle started asking me questions as usual, being a social butterfly, it started talking to him. And then he started asking me, oh, you look so exotic. And I'll take that as a compliment. And uh, he asked me, where am I from? And as much as I wanted to say Singapore, I had to tell him that I'm from India. But I also did tell him that I am really proud to be working in Singapore with Singapore Airlines. And then he goes like, oh yeah, that explains it. And I was like, what explains what? And then he says, well, you look pretty nicely dressed. I think your makeup is really good and you look really nice. I thought that you would be working for an airline most likely. And wow, that, that was a real compliment, I would say. So he asked me then that uh, he has a daughter who wanted to apply for Singapore Airlines and he wanted me to share some tips with him. And I did. And that's why I'm making this video today because I wanted to share those tips with you. First is right attitude. Guys, attitude is everything. There's so many things that you'll be doing throughout that day of the interview. It's just not a process where you just go into a room, get yourself interviewed and go out. But it's a whole day that you'll be, you'll be probably spending at the interview facility. You'll be doing small little things. So you have to keep that right attitude with you throughout the interview process. Regardless of whether things work the way you'd like them to work or not, uh, you have to make sure you maintain that right attitude, not just on the interview day, but throughout your job as a cabin crew. The second thing that I want to talk about is grooming. Your grooming has to be immaculate because that's what sets you aside from everyone. That's how you get noticed. You have to have good and immaculate grooming standards. By grooming standards, I mean wear the right shoes, wear the right dress, wear the right makeup. Don't overdo it, don't underdo it. Just do the right thing, all right? The third thing that we're gonna talk about is, and the most important thing, body language. The moment you step into that interview hall where there'll be a lot of people together with you, you're being watched. Everything that you do from the way you eat, the way you sit, the way you talk, the way you dress, the way you walk, everything. Everything is being watched. So every move you make, they're watching you, right? You have to make sure that you walk the talk. Your body language has to be perfect. I'm gonna be sharing another video on some do's and don'ts just solely on the body language, so that'll give you a more heads up as to what I'm talking about, so do watch that video. But the fourth thing that I wanna talk about here is confidence. You have to have that confidence that you're perfect for the job. You have to display that confidence in whatever you do. In the interview process, the assessment process, the, the public speaking, the swimming aspect of it, everything. You have to show that you're ready to take on the world because when it comes to doing a job as a cabin crew, you have to be fearless. Remember, job of a cabin crew is not just to serve trays up in the air. It is also about taking care of passengers, dealing with the emergencies on board, and a lot more. So you have to look as a confident person 
who is ready to deal with any situation given the least available resources. And the fifth thing that I want to talk about, and to me personally, I take it as one of the most important things. And that is something that I've definitely learned being part of Singapore Airlines. Whatever you do, put some pride and passion to it. Show them that you're passionate to be a cabin crew. In the interview question answer session, take that opportunity to show people how passionate you are. Demonstrate your passion in the way you dress. Demonstrate your passion in the way you talk. Take that pride in what you're about to do, which is probably as small as giving an interview for somebody, but probably that's the biggest thing for you. So yes, these are the five tips that I shared with the taxi uncle and I'm sharing with you guys. And trust me, if you follow these five things and take them to the interview with you, apart from all the other things, you're definitely gonna be selected. And that's how I'm gonna help you today. I'm gonna to give you these five pointers and let's do a quick recap of those. So get your grooming right, get your body language right, keep that attitude right, make sure you're humble yet confident and put some pride and passion to it, guys. Trust me, it goes a long way. So thank you so much for watching this video and I hope it really helped you. If it did, do like the video, do subscribe to my channel. I'll be sharing a lot more videos with you guys and I'm always happy to help. Stay tuned for the videos and all the best. You're not alone. I'm here with you and we will get through these interviews together. So keep watching and I love you.